Hello there and welcome. This is Wendy. I'm so excited that you're here today because I have the coolest thing to show you. Look at this barn. This barn is gorgeous. This is my friend Wendy's barn, actually. And we had a card party in this barn. And I'm going to show you the stuff that we created. And then I'm going to show you a couple other pictures throughout this video. This video is sped up a little because I try to keep my videos around five minutes, except for my Facebook Live replays. So we use the beautiful bobble stamp set and the country live-in stamp set. And I've got a piece of cardstock, or I'm sorry, designer series paper here, cut at two by six. And I'm punching both ends to make a little tag piece. Um, this is the Festive Farmhouse Designer Series paper, which is gorgeous, might I add. And then I've got a piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock. And I'll be honest, I can't remember all the measurements offhand. Don't have my book next to me. So what I want you to do is go to my website at loveandstampin.com and click on blog or go to the description below this video and there's a link to my blog post, the specific post, and there's also a link to all the products that I'm using today. So if you love these products and you wanna get your hands on them, you can purchase them in my online store. Okay, so I've got little cowboy boots here and I obviously was at a very country themed feeling place and so I wanted to run with that and I stamped little cowboy boots. Now I stamped them off first on a scratch piece of paper and then stamped them on my very vanilla um, my very vanilla circle here and then I stamped deck the halls and I'm just gonna add the circle right into the middle and then I'm going to add this burlap to the top so when we are creating a great tip for you is if you're going for a certain look go to Pinterest and look up things that would be that look so for example I went and typed in farmhouse de decor or farmhouse decorations and I paid attention to the type of stuff they use they use plaid they use earthy warm colors um, they use burlap a lot and so that is kind of where I derived the ideas for the pieces to this card. Again, you can shop for these products at shoploveandstampin.com or go to my blog and there's a shop button. And then I had to show you Rocky. This is her rooster. She had a bunch of chickens and I thought Rocky was so cute and so sweet and I just had to show him here before we started our next card. <laughs> So this card is made with gray granite ink and I'm using these fantastic little clips. If you don't have any of these, you should totally pick some up in my store um, and the Dashing Deer stamp set as well. Adorable. So this card is so insanely simple. This is a perfect beginner card. I've got an envelope here that I'm going to do a little stamping on using more of that festive farmhouse paper. Whisper White cardstock is cut at four and a quarter by 11. And then I've got a bunch of layering pieces that are going on. Again, if you want the measurements for these pieces, just go to my blog. However, I did these exact same measurements with another card earlier this month, or actually it might have been in September, um, during a Facebook Live. So exact same color, or exact same measurements, totally different card. And it's just kind of fun to do that every once in a while so that you can see that you can get really different looks out of um, the same card design. So this is cherry cobbler um, cardstock that I'm putting down. It's just such a beautiful rich red color. Gray granite ink going right down um, onto this little piece of festive farmhouse designer paper. And then happiest Christmas wishes going down on that gray granite cardstock. Then I thought I'm gonna stamp the little deer on to this envelope as well. So I did that. So now when this envelope goes out, it'll have the cute little deer right on it. We're gonna add snail adhesive to the back of this, put it down and add the clip and the sentiment. Note on the sentiment, I'm only adding a dimensional on one end and adhesive on the other end. Now we'll add our clip and we're done. And those are the two uh, projects we made at my friend Wendy's barn card party. If you want to see more pictures of the party and stuff, you're going to have to go to my blog at loveandstampin.com spelled with a U. Links are in the description below this video for everything, for shopping and for, um, for the blog post. Sorry, that's my dog scratching her neck really loudly right behind me. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, thanks so much for tuning in. Click either one of these videos to watch more. Click the circle with my face in it to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will catch you on the flip side. See you later, alligator.